Welcome back to Master the Fun and Elder Scrolls Online. Here we have the new Pure Snow Indric, the next Indric in the line of Indrics that are being offered by Elder Scrolls Online free when you get enough tickets. I'll give you the details of that, the events that will be participating in the berries for the Snow Indric and how to get the events for this coming festival. And since ESO had conflicting dates, which they posted on their website, uh, which are not the same as the, um, the sweepstakes dates, which are, you know, probably a legal thing. So we, go, we went with the sweepstakes dates. As you can see here, the Witches Festival from 24 October to 4 November will have 24 tickets. And that has now been corrected and is on their site with the new announcement of this uh, festival. The Undaunted Celebration from 14 November to 18 November will have 15 tickets. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Perhaps uh, three tickets a day. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I haven't really figured out how that one works, but we'll see when it comes. The Dragon Hunt event, 26 November, 9 December. I believe that had a different name for a total of 28 tickets for that event. And the new live festival the end of the year from 19 December to 2 January of 2020 next year and that event will have 30 tickets for two tickets a day as well now all four events we're going to total a grand total if you collect them all for 97 tickets total you only need 80 tickets if you don't have any and you don't have your nonsense or anything fancy a look you only at need my extremely your four, profoundly exotic goods. you only need your four intric feathers uh, yeah, the four feathers, which are 10 tickets each, for 40 tickets. And then the pure snow berries, which one berry will be offered each event uh, cumulatively. So you'll only see one snow berry of bloom for the witches festival. And then in the second festival, festival, you'll see the berries of budding. And then in the third festival, you'll see three. And in the last festival, all four will be offered each for 10 tickets. All you do for both the feathers or the berries is just right click and press use. For the feathers you'll get your Nasen Indrik and for the berries you'll get your Pure Snow Indrik. You can find the NPCs for these, all this ticket stuff, for you know all these ticket items in uh, Auradon, Stone Falls and Wayrest. Okay, so yeah, the Witches Festival will have the Pure Snow berries of bloom that'll be the first one and uh, let's there's just plenty of opportunities this time it's not that tight where you know you have to be there practically every day you can actually miss a couple of days and still get it remember that it's more important to get the berries because the tickets uh, uh, because the feathers are always offered all four fairies uh, feathers the berries supposedly do not come back after that last fourth event and for this event, the Witches Festival, just kill any boss. You'll get your Dramora Plunder Skull. That's only once per day per account. And you'll get your two tickets with that um, with that loot. You have to loot the boss. You have to, you know, when the boss glows yellow, just loot him and you'll get it. It's not some, some kind of automatic thing. You have to actually loot the boss after you kill it or do enough healing. You know, but you do have to. You know, attack the boss a couple of times. An old sorcerer solo. once told me my so goods that, are part of a you know, set. Whatever the game, what might whatever that mean, I wonder? mechanics registers that you are part of the attack. So that should do it. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave. Uh, you know, leave it in the comments, or if you see me in game, you know, my main is master, and um, uh, I'm a PC NA, and I'll answer any questions you have. Subscribe, like, free to do so. And yeah, that's about it. So enjoy the moment and as always have fun. Cheers.